Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Can't find bed bugs but have bites? If you can't find bed bugs but have bites all over the lower half of your body, it could be flea bites. A pet may have brought in the fleas, and they are the ones giving you those bites. Often, if you can't find bed bugs but have bites, you do not have a bed bug problem. Do bed bugs bite every night? Bed bugs are mostly nocturnal, but their feeding habits can become a matter of convenience. The bugs can bite several times in a night to become full, but only feed about once every one or two weeks. People that have only small numbers of the bugs in their homes may not experience new bites every night. Why am I the only one getting bitten in my house? You or another family member might be the only one who ends up covered in bites. Even if you have a spouse in the same room with you, these bugs might seem to only prefer feeding on you during the night. These bugs aren't picky about who they bite, so you can bet that they're feeding on everyone in your home. What does a bed bug bite look like on humans? Bites normally look like small, flat or raised areas that may become inflamed, itchy, red or blistered. Bed bug bite reactions don't always appear immediately after you're bitten and may take a few days to begin causing symptoms. However, not everyone reacts to bed bug bites in the same manner. What bites me in my sleep? Bed bugs are active mainly at night and usually bite people while they are sleeping. They feed by piercing the skin and withdrawing blood through an elongated beak. The bugs feed from 3 to 10 minutes to become engorged and then crawl away unnoticed. Rab. I-25, 1442-A. How can you tell the difference between bed bug bites and flea bites? Flea bites are smaller and usually appear bright red in color. These bites are so closely grouped together that they might even form patterns across your skin. Bed bug bites are slightly larger, and while they still look like reddish welts, they're not as bright red as flea bites. Dual Q. 9, 1442A. How do you check for bed bugs? Looking for signs of bed bugs when cleaning, changing bedding, or staying away from home, look for rusty or reddish stains on bed sheets or mattresses caused by bed bugs being crushed. Dark spots, about this size, which are bed bug excrement and may bleed on the fabric like a marker would. Rab. I-29, 1443-A. Are bed bug bites raised bumps? Bites normally look like small, flat or raised areas that may become inflamed, itchy, red or blistered. Bed bug bite reactions don't always appear immediately after you're bitten and may take a few days to begin causing symptoms. How do I know if it's bed bugs or something else? Rusty or reddish stains on bed sheets or mattresses caused by bed bugs being crushed. Dark spots, about this size, which are bed bug excrement and may bleed on the fabric like a marker would. Eggs and eggshells, which are tiny, about 1 mm, and pale yellow skins that nymphs shed as they grow larger. Live bed bugs, Rab. I-29, 1443-A. Do bed bug bites spread when scratched? Now, some people worry that bed bug bite will spread along the skin when scratched. Well, the truth is that bed bug bites do not spread as they are non-contagious. However, the welt caused by the bite may swell due to incessant scratching that's where it all ends. Do bed bug bites look like pimples? Bed bug bites are small, red, itchy, and swollen spots that appear in clusters. They appear in the morning after you're bitten in the night. They are superficially similar to pimples. But bed bug bites can't burst in the same way that some acne can. Rab. 230, 1442A. Ah. Take our lead. 
Let's help you make your mark.